Happy Tuesday. Thanks for being alongside us. Heidi has the morning off. She will rejoin us tomorrow, but a new addition here to the show. You can see our Tokyo 2020 mugs as we get geared up for the Olympics coming. You don't have anything in that. And you know I what? Do. I, but in, I in, in the interest of transparency, I want to show you guys. I do. I actually poured some coffee into my mug beforehand, so I wouldn't lie to the viewers. I can't say the same for Zach. Uh, the good <laughs> news is, is that he doesn't lie about the forecast. <laughs> You're hoping to get some of that information that we just heard from the family attorney confirmed by Colleen Police to get more insight into the connection between the incident that happened this morning uh, and the remains that were discovered yesterday afternoon. Again, the family attorney does believe, along with the family, that the remains that were discovered yesterday are those of Vanessa Guillen. They also believe that the person responsible was the same suspect that took his life overnight. All right, Maria, thanks so much. Hey, before you go, Maria, I do want to ask you a quick question. I know that you've been uh, out there on the roads all morning long. As far as you can tell, are most of the major roadways and areas that you've been, have they been treated by that salt brine solution to make sure they're safer for drivers, or are there still areas that you you've seen that uh, are still a little slick and left untreated. At least, of course, we have to listen to Celine Dion. Here's my heart will go on. And near far, wherever you are in Central <laughs> Texas, we'll see you tomorrow morning, same time, same place, 4.30 to 7 a.m. Time right now is 5.20. Coming up next, it's National Take Your Dog to Work Day. What? No one told me this? We'll have a special report on Man's Best Friend. More Texas today is straight ahead. Yo, ketchup. Got to try the mayo. You got to try the I mayo. I would go ketchup. ketchup. I'm a ketchup. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And finally, <laughs> 90s kids. Need a flex for a good cause. Here it is. I don't want to rip out of the suit, honey. Do not know right now as we speak the relation those victims had to the suspect. Is that correct? We don't know if this was a domestic situation or really what led up to this shooting. Is that right? Yeah, Chris and Leslie, good evening to you. You mentioned that word devastation a moment ago, and certainly as we were driving around earlier today, we arrived just a few short hours ago, that was the word that came to mind. That was the Colleen Police Department speaking about the overnight shooting. We can now definitively say the person who took their own life overnight as they were approached by police is or was, I should say, a person of interest in connection to the case of missing Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen, as we heard uh, just a few moments ago from the family attorney. Now, police did not name uh, the person uh, who took their own life. The headline for the past couple of days has been flattening that curb. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that uh, a lot of the messaging that we saw in the press conference with the president was to follow the protocol, stay indoors. This, these, these protocols are in place for a reason. Showed you San Francisco in the yeah. last hour of the show. How about Shanghai, huh? Now, my, uh, our producer here was worried this, this was going to topple over right on air, and then I would have to, that would break out in tears like a little kid. But I think it's built sturdily enough that uh, it'll be fine. Well, we're staying cool here, I'll we're tell you that much. Cool. We're staying we're pretty staying cool. cool. I, was, I was told to lean a little bit to the right, so I'm going all in.